Good morning. I am joined by one of the wonderful stars that are helping us out with the wicked, wicked workouts that's going through the week. How are we doing, Matty? How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you doing? All right. Oh, not so bad at all. Um, can I just ask you first, introduce yourself about where you work and what you do. Yeah, so uh, my name's Matty Green. I'm the uh, the head coach at Cumbria Strength and Conditioning up in uh, in Dalton. Um, so yeah, we, we um, do all kinds of, of strength and conditioning work. Um, yeah. We work with uh, ladies who are just coming back from uh, giving birth. We we work all the way up to professional athletes as well. So right, wonderful. Um, yeah, quite a lot. So it's not kind of like just a standardised fitness gym where people come and work out and use the weights. It's more of a tailored thing from the. Yeah, we we mainly uh, mainly class based, um, and a lot of the guys and girls will come in as well. And if they're not doing classes, then they might be doing programs which I've set them. Right. Um, for like sport and performance or just, just getting fit in general. Wonderful. Um, how did you come to be brought into this wicked workouts that's going on? Um, yeah, so just uh, the opportunity arose. I, I, was, I was called up and asked um, and it was some, something that I'd, I'd, I'd love to do. Like uh, I love to kind of coach and get our way of, of doing exercise across and I uh, thought it'd be a great way to showcase what we do. So yeah. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Um, they're at 9.30 in the morning, so what can we expect from your sessions? So uh, I've done a, a few different ones. Um, quite different. I mean, a lot of the, quite a few of the instructors have been doing a lot of HIIT work, like high-intensity training. Yeah. Um, I like to focus a lot on strength and mobility work. Um, wonderful. So obviously strength, no one's going to tell you you're too strong. Um, yeah, yeah. So trying to increase everybody's strength as, as, as much as possible, especially as we get, in, get into old age. Um, the stronger you are, obviously, the better quality of life you're going to have. So oh, definitely, uh, yeah, pretty much strength based, mostly body weight uh, training. Great. Is uh, is there anything that we can expect for disabled people, or as you said, mentioned before, the older people who are not as mobile? Yeah, I mean, um, most of the workouts are like uh, accessible to anybody. Um, okay. Some of them, um, the especially the isometric workout, you you pretty much need to stay in one space. That's it, right? One, one place. That's it. So limited movement, but maximum effect and on training benefit. That's wonderful. Um, are we expecting people to be getting warmed up before these exercises, or are you going to go through a warm up program? So definitely yes. Obviously, we always advocate a warm up. Um, yeah. With it being a, a ten minute workout, most of our our workouts themselves, you know, a warm up would be 15 minutes minimum. Yeah. So um, we kind of like for the sessions I've done, we kind of gradually build into it, um, do a lot of joint uh, mobility, end range Wonderful. of motion type stuff. Um, so yeah, if, if you can, obviously definitely get warmed up and ready. Um, but it's not completely necessary if, you, if no. you're not if you're cold so right that's absolutely superb i'm looking forward to this um thank you so much for joining me and i hope everything goes well no problem mate thank you very much for having me on oh anytime at all